everybody, welcome back to Must Be Online Tutorial Video to teach you how to use a DTF printer. So this video will teach you how to create a spot channel from Photoshop and then rip a picture from the rip focus rip software to support the DTF printing. So for example, we want to print a, a picture with JPEG file, this cat, this cute cat on the t-shirt. So now must be we teach you how to process step by step. So first we're going to open the Photoshop software and we load the picture to Photoshop and unlock the key. So from this picture, we can see it's only a color layer, and go to the channel here. It's only have RGB channel, without any white layer for white ink printing. So first, we're gonna choose make a spot channel, and we must select the area we want to print with white ink and if without wet ink area we need to not select it so first we're going to open to choose the magic wand tools select empty area to delete it then we press delete to remove it remove the background to make it, make it transparent like this so this is the position we want to print with white ink and also you can remove any position that you don't want to print with the white ink. After that, then we select the empty position and we right click to choose the similar to prevent wrong selection. And then we click right click the mouse and then we also select inverse to select up the area we want to make spot channel for white ink print. Then we go to channel, channels, and we go to the red option here, and we choose the second one, new spot channel here. And then we first we name the first channel by W1 and the color we fill with full of CMYK by 100% from here then click OK and the solidity we put by 100% then we also click OK so we've got a spot channel for white ink right now and for better white ink density we can make it a triple two layer for white then we right click the W1 spot channel and then we choose duplicate channel just copy one so we rename the file that spot channel by W2 white layer 2 and do nothing change just the duplicate and then we open the eyes please don't forget we must open this eyes two of the spot channel eyes must be open so if we close it then when we rip and print, this print will still print with only CMYK without white ink. So we just uh, click on the eye, all of the eyes for the channels. Go back to the layer, and then we go to file, and we choose by save as TIFF format, T-I-F-F, -F, TIFF format for better quality. Then save, click OK. So we will get a file that with this kind of icon. This picture is with two white spot channel for print with white ink on the film. So after we process the picture from Photoshop, then we need to start to rip this picture to raster it. So we're going to open the focus rip and 
also we first check, double check the print setting is Epson F1080 DTF and then we load the picture that after we processed before please remember we load this picture with two white layer we load to the rib we can press control and manners then we can see the picture here but it's too big so we need to set the size we can see the picture size is bigger than the film so we right click and we choose output size by 200 for example you can put the any size but the size must be small than the carvings small than 300 millimeter so if you want to print more than one picture we just copy for example we want to print more than that we copy the file and also when we open the USB folder we already must be already processed some picture for you for reference so here all of these files are processed with two white layer so we just uh, open the rip and we go to import we find out the test print file folder and we select all of the files and we, then we click open and we select the size by 200 millimeter then click OK and then we can remove the picture to the middle and also we can set, we can adjust the picture to p of the position from these icons or load it so after we set it set up the file like this we load the picture to the pic load the picture to the software then we need to do some setting we go to choose spot color option we choose spot 1 open and spot 2 we need to also open just choose spot channel so here if we choose none then the printer will print without any white ink just by CMYK color layer no white ink on the film so print on the film we must open and here we also have another option except the spot option so if you choose image base same density then the picture will print the print will, the print will print white ink according to the picture area but if you choose this option you must be sure the picture have high quality and also the edge the edge of the picture is clear otherwise the the edge of the white ink will not clear so for best, best quality printing quality must be strongly recommend you to create a spot channel from Photoshop for best weather ink density and quality we just choose spot channel for the first one and here choose default just choose as default and here for breathing is just to prevent the white ink leaking for overlap on the top of the color layer so here we can put a little bit size uh, for example minus 0 0.09 that means the white layer we are small the edge of the white layer we are small than the color layer about 0 0.09 millimeter but if you want to print some small words characters so here we must put a small number otherwise the character the, the contact may be cut down cannot print out for white ink and also we choose the spot 2 channel because we already select processed two spot channel from Photoshop white 1 and white 2 so here is spot 1 channel here is spot 2 channel the two spot channel already created 
So here already we need to open two spot channel to support the T format. So we keep as this. We must keep the two same spot channel with the same breathing setting as this. The minus means reduce the breathing. And if we put without manners here, it's for increasing. So for DTF printing, of course, we need to put manners to, to get, prevent the breathing. As this. Except that we click OK. The numbers really just keep empty because all, we only have two, cha two spot channel. Then we go to click print. And then here we have some options. First one, we choose the ICT profile. We choose the ICT profile from here. It's print PET film on film for ICT profile. So that's why I must be strongly recommending you to take the ink from focus because all the ink you take from focus we already create the professional ICC profile to match with the ink to get the best printing quality and the color addition. So for print on DTF must be recommended you to choose the 720 times 1440 DPI and the 8 pass printing for best printing white ink density and color ink performance. And if you want printing with faster speed, you can also choose a 720 times 720 option. And here just keep as default and also keep as file. And we choose rename by custom. And here we must open the horizontal mineral. Otherwise the print out words will be opposite. So remember we must open the horizontal mineral option from here. And others except the forward output. The forward output means the printer will start to print a picture from the bottom to top. Otherwise, if you click off, then the printer will start to print at the top to bottom. So normally we just click forward output. So we set as this. Then we go to click print. And also here we see another option named advanced. So here we also keep as default. Here if we open ICC, also the ICC profile here, if we open ICC profile, then the details will be better. And if we click off, the color will be more sharp. So that depends on your option, depends on your requirement. Except the setting like this, then we can click print. We can save the file to desktop, like and here we cannot put the special characters, just put number and words. Then we click OK. Then the print starts to print process. It's very quick. The speed is the uh, the speed is the, uh, depend on your print picture r resolution. More high resolution, it costs more, more more time to process it. Here you can also find out the output default from here. And the file after rip is named by dot prn. Before rip, the file is JPEG or TIFF. It's, 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 it's TIFF. So then, then waiting about several seconds, the file is process finish. It's 100%. Then we will got a prn file from desktop. So this is the file after we rip. Then we can load this file to the control software for printing later. So fr from now on, it's all the procedure to process 
the two spot channel from Photoshop and then load the picture to, to the RIP software for rusting processing. So any question you just can ask Master B or ask a focus support team. Thank you.